Welcome to Lessons That Count, a new math series sponsored by the Fort Collins High School Math Honor Society. Today we'll be talking about modeling quadratic functions. Quadratic functions are polynomial functions of the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The graph of a quadratic function is called a parabola. These u-shaped graphs plus their corresponding equations can be used to model real life situations. It turns out we are surrounded by parabolas. Let's take a look at some parabolas found around Fort Collins. The path of ball travels in sports forms a parabola. The fountains downtown shoot in a parabolic shape. Even architecture can look parabolic. Hey Dirk, this gives me a really good idea. Let's go get the rest of the crew. Okay. Here we are, Harvest Farms in Wellington, Colorado, where this corn cannon shoots corn in a parabolic shape. I wonder how high this corn goes. If we had a quadratic equation, maybe we could find the maximum height. If we take some measurements and use the footage from the launch, maybe Miss Slagle can help us figure out how high the corn cannon launches. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I'll measure the distance to where it landed. measuring the height of the initial launch. Hi, Miss Slagle. We have some footage of some corn being shot out of a corn cannon. I was wondering if you could help us find a quadratic equation so we can see how high the corn went. Absolutely. Let's go take a look at the footage. Here's a still shot of the footage from the corn being launched from the cannon. It looks like we're going to have to zoom out a little bit. Okay, so Snow, you said you took some measurements at the cornfield. Do you remember what they were? Yep. We shot at an initial height of six feet over here, and it flew 334 feet to this side over here. Okay, so that means we start with the coordinate 06, and it's going to land over here at 334, 0. So if we estimate the coordinates of some of these other locations, we can do a quadratic regression to approximate the equation of this parabola. Sounds great. Based on the data you found, I was able to create a quadratic regression that models the height your corn travels. Awesome! Now we can take what we learned in math class to help us figure out what the maximum height is. The maximum height of the corn will be at the vertex of the parabola. By finding the axis of symmetry, we can find the x-coordinate of the vertex. The axis of symmetry is located at x equals negative b over 2a. This is our a, this is our b, and this is our c. Now we'll plug that into our equation. Which equals 161.98. We take this x value and plug it back into this equation to get the maximum height the corn travels. When you plug them back in, you get 73.62. This means our vertex has an x-coordinate of 161.98 and a y-coordinate of 73.62. This means that the maximum height the corn traveled was 73.62 feet and it occurred at 161.98 feet from the initial launch. Now that we found the vertex of a parabola, can you? I'm Kyle Sigsby, quarterback for Collins. Can you guess how high this ball goes? Here's our equation. Can you find how high the football goes? Remember, the axis of symmetry can be found at x equals negative b over 2a. Here's our A, here's our B, and here's our C. So we simply plug those in, which equals 24.77. Now we evaluate the function at 24.77 feet to find the maximum height that the football went during the throw. Which equals 33.89. This means that our vertex has an x value of 24.77 and a y value of 33.89. So our max height of 33.89 feet 
occurred 24.77 feet from where Kyler made the throw. Parabolas really are everywhere. Just start looking for them. This has been Emmett. No. Rachel. And Dirk with Lessons That Count. Where math stops being confusing and starts being real.